All right. So in this one, we're going to look at some ways that we can do uh, justify type, and then we're going to look at how to make columns inside of Illustrator. So the first thing when we were looking at a justify type is we, if we look at this and we go here to justify, we get a lot of gaps and holes, which are called rivers, which we want to get rid of. So the first thing is I'm just going to separate these paragraphs. So let's adjust our space before our space after. And now I need to go into some special options. This is a, this is a trick. So please take note of this. Um, I'm going to go to where it says justification. And in here, I need to enter in some really special numbers. So we're going to start with 80, 85, 90, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 98, 99, and 100. So what this is doing is saying the space in between the words let's at maximum be 10% under what it's supposed to be. And letter spacing, the same thing. Let's, let's uh, change that gap. So when you look at the difference, do you see how how much better it is? Now, we would need to go in and st still, main, uh, still maybe do some manual adjustments, but it's better. So we do okay. So for example, um, I think I can bring small up to the next line. So again, select the next line and then use option left arrow, bring that in, boat brings up, that's good. So I'm just kind of looking for some gaps and holes, there's some gaps in here, so we're just gonna select all of this. Bring that up, good. Let's bring cuts up. Okay, this is looking good. Um, let's bring agency up. It's going to be a little tighter, but that works out good. And then we are going to, what do we want to do then? Let's bring sent up, right? So I'm just trying to even out this paragraph and kind of minimize where we have gaps. And you can see it's a much better paragraph that we have. So let's take this nice paragraph that we have. I'm just going to duplicate it down. And I want to create columns. Now, a couple things with that is if I make this smaller like this, you can see I get this red plus sign. So let's make this smaller. Let's get rid of this now. Yes, yes, yes. So as I have this, right, if I hit the plus sign, it's going to give me, there it goes, loaded text cursor icon. And what it'll do is it'll put the next text in that. So watch as I make this smaller, you can see the text flows between one paragraph to the other. You can totally do that if you want um, different size text boxes. That's a great way to do that. But let me show you another way. So here's my text, and I want to create two columns out of it. Right? If I go to type, area type options, Move this over, and I'm going to say, you know what, columns, I want two columns. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. And I can change all these different spaces, how far it spans. You can see I can make it bigger, I can make it smaller. No, nothing is happening. Okay. Maybe I can't make it any small. Um, right, I could also change my width here. So you can do all sorts of things. I could do more than... I could do three columns, um, right? So again, that's type, area type options. And then we're going to go number of columns. We're going to do two. Let's preview that. Yep, looks good. The gutter, right? We can make the gutter larger or smaller. Um, offset, so this is, I can insert spacing into this and then do okay. And so there we go. So the insert spacing is just, let's say I wanted, no, um, it just kind of insets it in there. Let's say I wanted to put a box around this, just another way of doing it. So that's a way of getting in um, not only a good justified type, but also doing uh, columns.